Hello everyone, welcome to Examby. Embrace the Examby learning experience. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the IFSCA grade A IT stream preparation strategy, like how to prepare and what will be the coding test. So before starting this video, let's have some bit of motivation that we have multiple candidates selected in SEBI grade A, RBI grade B, NABAD grade A, IPS SO and many more exams. So our student trust our strategy and uh, they have make it to the government job with the right study plan, quality content and the guided practice you can too clear this exam. Now without wasting any time let's start the video. So first of all let's discuss the exam pattern of IFSCA grade A. There will be three phases phase 1, phase 2 followed by the interview. So in the phase 1 exam there will be two paper, paper 1 and paper 2. Paper 1 will be have multiple choice questions of general awareness, English, quant and reasoning. So there will have 25 questions for each section. So maximum marks will be 100 and time duration will be 60 minutes. Then paper 2 will be stream specific. It will have 50 questions of 2 marks each. So the, so the maximum marks will be 100 and time will be 60 minutes. There will be a negative marking of 1 fourth marks. And phase 1 will be qualifying in nature. Then phase 2 exam, this will also contain 2 papers of 100 marks each. So paper 1 will be common for all streams that will be of English descriptive. It will have pressy writing, essay writing and comprehensive. And the paper 2 will be stream specific that 50 multiple choice questions of 2 marks each. So the maximum marks will be 100 and time will be 60 minutes. This paper will have two third weightage. So there is a new edition in this paper that it will have a coding test. So those candidates who qualified the phase 2 exam will be eligible for this test and this test will be in qualifying in nature. So those candidates who qualify this test will be called for interview and the weightage for interview will be the 15%. It means phase 2 exam will have 85% and interview will have 15% of weightage. Now let's talk about the syllabus. So this is the syllabus for IFSCA. This is very similar to PFRDA and SEBI exam. So these are the subject like the database concept in which you will have to learn about ER model, relational model, file organization, transaction and concurrency control. Similarly in SQL queries you need to learn select, where, order by, group by, having, joins and other sub queries. Also you need to practice query because the MCQs are directly based on them. Then in programming languages you need to focus on loops, array, functions, recursion, object oriented concepts like class, inheritance, polymorphism. And for Python, you need to focus on like a list, tuples, dictionary, set, exceptional handling. Then come to the data analytics languages. So in the data analytics, you have to focus on handling the data like with pandas and importing, exporting with CSV files, filtering, shortings and reshaping techniques. Also the visualization concept by using Matplotlib and the Seaball libraries. The next is algorithm for problem solving. So in this subject, you have to focus on the shorting and searching algorithms. Also the BFS and DFS, greedy and dynamic approach of the algorithms. Also the complexity, which plays the important role in the MCQ parts. The networking concept. In networking, you have to focus on OSI model and the TCP IP layers. Also the protocols like HTTP, DNS, FTP, SMTP and the IP addressing. Then cyber security. In this you have to focus on CIA traits and the authentication mechanism. Also the cyber attacks which are happening nowadays and what will be the precautions for this. What can be the software can, uh, we can use. What will be the security measures for that. Then data warehousing. In this you have to focus on the ETL process. Then shell scripting, you will have to focus on the commands like uh, ls command, pwd command, ch mode, grep and uh, other than this you have to focus on control statements, loops. Then the most important that is AI and ML, you have to focus on supervised learning, unsupervised learning, regression techniques, classifications, decision tree, NLP, reinforcement learning, these will be the important topics. So this is the complete syllabus you need to cover in within a one month. Don't be scared. The good thing is level is easy to moderate. So with the regular practice, you can manage all these topics. Also, I would like to tell you 
you can download our study plan from the description below in which you will get the complete study plan of uh, QRE and the IT subjects so it will help you to prepare better for your exam now let's focus on the new edition the coding test so first of all it is a qualifying in nature and uh, level is basic level of questions and most important areas of this paper will be C, C++, Java, Python. Obviously, practice will be the key. Practice will decide whether you are clear it or not. And uh, you can see the questions which may include like uh, reverse of a string, palindrome in check, Fibonacci series, array operations, also the SQL queries, simple SQL queries. So in our course, the sample questions are given and uh, you can practice a lot of questions from there. So the question is, how do you prepare for coding? So we recommend you two platform that is lead code and Parikshak. So the lead code basically best for practicing logics. You can start with the two, three easy problems on a daily basis, then increase it to four and five problems. Also, you can focus on the topics like array, string, recursion, hashing, trees also you can solve sql problem then parikshak parikshak is used in the many psu and uh, government jobs exams basically it provide you to input output style coding problems so in the parikshak the system will check the output formatting strictly so if your logic is correct but format is wrong then it will give you a zero so it is to emulate the real exam environment so you can think like that the smart formula for practicing code paper with the help of Parikshak and lead code you can use lead code to learn and Parikshak to practice in the exam conditions it will give you a real exam feel now, now let's talk about the one month study plan you can download it from description also but uh, I'll give you a brief idea like on a week one you can practice SQL queries plus programming basics whether it is on C, C++, Java or Python then on week 2 you can focus on specifically Python plus data analytics then week 3 you can focus on algorithms, networking and cyber security then week 4 you can focus on data warehouse, shell scripting, AI and ML also on the mock test so you can divide your schedule like uh, you can give two hour daily to theory and notes then one hour daily to mcq practice like uh, you can attempt 40 to 50 questions for each topic then one hour to coding practice specifically on lead code and parikshak and the last day of the week which will be the seventh day like sunday you can practice full mock test to track your progress so, so this way in just one month you will cover the entire syllabus while also getting comfortable with the coding part we are also providing the course for ifsca in which you will get video lessons study notes, live doubt classes, MCQ booklet and practice questions in the form of concept check questions plus chapter test, section test and mock test. We have an intro class today on 16th of September. You can enroll now. It is a, so this will be the complete strategy. You can prepare smartly for the MCQs because this is a kind of a scoring paper. At the same time, don't ignore the coding part even through it is a qualifying in nature because without it you cannot reach to the interview stage so if you start today with the discipline and consistency clearing ifsca grade ait is absolutely within your reach so all the best thank you prepare 50 percent faster with ixmd